Little Miss Hug by Roger Hangreaves. Have you ever fallen over and hurt yourself? I bet you have. And then, have you wished that someone would come along to give you a hug and make you feel better? Well, Little Miss Hug is just that person. Like the time she found Little Miss Tiny after she had fallen off the curb. Oh, and there comes Little Miss Hug. There's Tiny. But there is something else extra special about Little Miss Hugs Hugs. It's her extra special arms. They fit perfectly around whoever she's hugging. Whether it is Mr. Small after a twig falls on him or Ann squishes his hat. Oh, Mr. Small down there. And it squishes and hit his, hit his hat. Mr. Bump after one of his bumps. Look, she has special arms hugging. Or even Mr. Greedy when he has a tummy ache. Little Miss Hug is always there with a perfectly fitting hug to make ev everything better. Look, they did have a big tummy ache. Then there are times when nobody has hurt themselves. Happy times like birthdays. Everyone wants a birthday hug. So there's happy times for hugs too. And times when a little Miss Hug hugs someone just for the fun of it. Even someone like Miss Bossy needs a hug once in a while. <laughs> Everyone needs a hug, or so little Miss Hug thought. The other day when she was out for a walk, she heard someone hiding on the other side of some bushes. Someone huffing and puffing and moaning and groaning. Someone who was in a very bad mood. So he must be back behind these shrubs. It was Mr. Grumpy. And why was Mr. Grumpy in such a bad mood? Because the sun was out. There really is no pleasing Mr. Grumpy. So quick as a flash, little Miss Hug ran around the bushes, stretched out her arms and hugged Mr. Grumpy. Or at least she tried to, but something happened that had never happened to Little Miss Hug before. Mr. Grumpy pushed her away. Get off me, shouted Mr. Grumpy. Oh, see, he is grumpy, not being nice at all. Little Miss Hug could not believe her ears. She could not believe her eyes. Nobody had ever refused one of her hugs, but... But everyone likes a hug, she cried. So she, so she was so confused, she hugged Mr. Grumpy again. I know what you are trying to do, said Mr. Grumpy, but it won't work. I am grumpy and I like being grumpy. No amount of hugging will change that. Little Miss Hug didn't let go, so she got him, she's hugging him. <laughs> I said, began Mr. Grumpy, but then he stopped. Something was happening to Mr. Grumpy that had never happened to him before. He could feel a strange, warm feeling spreading out from deep inside himself. Little Miss Hug hugged him tighter. And then the most extraordinary thing happened. Very slowly, Mr. Grumpy smiled. For the first time in his life, he was happy. Little Miss Hug let him go, let go of him. I must say, said Little Miss Hug, you have a lovely smile. And can you guess what Mr. Grumpy did next? He blushed for the first time in his life. 
he blushed. And then he hugged, and then he hugged li little Miss Hug. So he gave a hug back. For the first time in his li life, he hugged someone. Although, as you can see, it was an almost hug and not a proper little Miss Hug Hug. What you might call half hug. Mr. Grumpy Hug, and that was a great start. Wow, hope you enjoyed the book.